Hello, welcome back to another episode of Tarot Celebrity with y'all boy Ducky. Today we are going to be reading tarot cards for BTS and G Friend. Um, yeah, so a lovely person wanted me to uh, just check out their friendship connection. And this was next on my to-do list. Uh, I was reluctant to doing this because I just recently did one on uh, BBZ. Yeah, BBZ. And so I was like, oh, do I, do I really want to do uh, uh, this one so soon? But it was, it's was it been next on my list. Uh, so, yeah. You are in luck. If you are interested in uh, hearing about BTS and G Friends Friendship Connection... That is the video for today. So remember that these videos are for entertainment purposes. That is because uh, B uh, BTS nor G Friend uh, are here to confirm nor deny that what I am seeing in the cards is relaying or is resonating with them or it is not resonating with them. So just remember to, to uh, watch these videos with a grain of salt. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's just see what is the general friendship. So this is a friendship reading. Let's get a some general thoughts of BTS, their thoughts on the members of G Friend. What are their thoughts? We got the Four of Sons or the Four of Wands. The Eight of Wands in Reverse. And the World. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's get some cards representing what are G Friends thoughts on BTS. We got the Knight of Pentacles. The Magician in Reverse. And the Eight of Moons or the Eight of Cups. Okay. So this is just in general um, because there are so many members in BTS and in G Friend that. This video would be way too long for me to make if I wanted to individually do every single one. So uh, keep in mind that this is kind of the general overview, the general energy of the collective members in each group in regards to their thoughts of the other group. So let's start with BTS's thoughts on G Friend. So their thoughts on G Friend with the Four of Wands or the Four of Suns coming up here in reverse. Normally, this talks about pros prosperity, having a, a good sense of groundedness and harmony, um, and working well together. I immediately am sensing that BTS thought that G Friend just did not work well together. There were too many clashing personalities. And it caused a lot of delays with this Eight of Suns, the Eight of Wands here in reverse. I feel like they, BTS, saw that there wasn't a lot of cohesiveness. There wasn't a lot of wanting to work together or having a solid foundation. Maybe, uh, I, maybe I feel like G Friend did get along but they weren't really grounded they didn't really have a good foundation to build upon and it caused a lot of delays it caused a lot of upsets it caused a lot of things to slow down and m maybe uh that's why they're the band or the group kind of disbanded or or went in different directions because there wasn't a lot of sense of togetherness is what I'm seeing. And that's what BTS noticed right away 
uh, with GFriend, they realize that there is just a lot of, I mean, look at this, like there's people here and there's, there's someone here washing the other person's foot. Um, and that's all about like humility and whatnot. And there was this sense of like, maybe there wasn't a lot of humility. Uh, BTS didn't think that some of the members of GFriend were, were humble enough to, to start having a good sense of camaraderie and teamwork and togetherness. And that's what caused a lot of like delays, a lot of upsets uh, to happen. And with the world card here showing up right side up, I feel like BTS does think that G friend, uh, that chapter is closed, you know, and there's, they're ready for other things going on. So that's what I'm seeing in regards to these cards. Now let's get G friends thoughts on BTS. And remember, these are the current thoughts. We'll get into like their friendship vibes, like what they think about the vibes. Right now, this is kind of just what I'm seeing, like what they think of the group, like just the the uh, each other's groups. OK, so we got the Knight of Pentacles here or the Knight of Spheres. And so G friend really sees that BTS was very hardworking as a group. They work hard. They have a plan. They were slow and steady and and uh and focused in regards to what they wanted to accomplish now with the magician here showing up in reverse i do feel like g friend did think that bts as a group they sometimes were a little bit manipulative maybe they would pretend to be nice um or nicer than they were or they would pretend to to act a certain way in order to gain popularity. Um, that's not to say, like, I don't want people to think that, like, I'm saying that they were fake or anything. Or um, there's just some some level of not being genuine. And sometimes, you know, when you are in the limelight or when you are in the public eye, you have to kind of try and get along with everyone, even if you don't get along well with them. You have to try and make it seem, make it come across that you're personable, that you're friendly, that you are outgoing in order for more people to like you. Um, and so they saw this within them and, and they realized that that's what helped them create a lot of opportunities and a lot of traveling, a lot of opportunities for travel and making money is what I'm seeing. So G Friend did notice this about BTS and maybe... That's what they they didn't do well is um, because they're again, I'm I'm seeing like a level of like not being like super humble or not wanting to work well with other people um, and for a G friend and for BTS, it seems like BTS knew how to play the game. They knew how how the media works. They knew the industry and they knew that in order to make it big in the music industry, they had to be very likable. And so sometimes uh, that had to, that calls for um, having some manipulative tendencies or like pretending to, to be more friendly or more outgoing or more personable, more warm than you truly are. And that's not to say that's a bad thing, but um, especially because here they are both in the, music industry and in the in the fine arts and when it comes to that sometimes you you do have to fake it till you make it and that's what i see with g friend here that they noticed about bts they noticed that that bts was coming off as more warm and friendly than they actually were maybe and that helps create a lot of opportunities for them to travel and for them to, and it worked with their goal, with their plan, you know? Um, so that's what I'm seeing. So now let's do uh, some friendship. What do they think in regards of a friendly vibe, you know? Like, so that's just kind of what they thought of each other as a group, as uh, in the, the, I keep wanting to say social media, in the music media and the music industry. <clears throat> Um, all right, so let's do G Friends thoughts on BTS.
<laughs> the magician again in reverse, huh? The three of cups in reverse, yeah. And the tower. And let's see BTS's thoughts on G Friend. The six of pentacles in reverse. The queen of pentacles in reverse. Oh, yeah. And the nine of cups. Nine of moons. I'm going to drink some tea. One second. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. This is resonating a lot with how I was seeing the first set of cards come out. Um, but that was just kind of like a professional standpoint. Now this is from a friendly standpoint, what they thought of one another. I do think that G friend saw BTS as a little bit fake, a little bit, um, manipulative um and they were surprised by this a bit with the with the tower here the tower is all about sudden changes you know having this um outlook or this personality or or some kind of behavior that's shocking that causes a lot of surprise and i do feel that g friend was quite surprised when they met bts and they realized oh bts Seems like they're very friendly, they're very warm and stuff like that. But in, maybe in person or in real life, they might not be that way. Um, and with the Three of Cups here, or the Three of Moons in reverse, this is telling me that they don't really... G-Friend thinks that BTS doesn't really reciprocate, doesn't really return the same feelings that is, that's given to them. So maybe BTS receives a lot of love, a lot of warmth, a lot of kindness. And in return, BTS doesn't really, doesn't really return the same favor. They don't return those same types of feelings. And this is also magnified again with this magician in reverse, because the magician is a great manifester. The magician has all the tools that they need in order to manifest and create whatever they want. Um, but when it comes in reverse, sometimes all of this power, all of this, all of these tools that they have, they use it to manipulate and to be a little bit deceptive and to be kind of like tricksters. So I do feel like G Friend was surprised by this um, in regards to BTS. And I do want to say with the way that both of the cards came out, I don't think they uh <laughs> I don't think they really um are too fond of one another. There's there's not a close connection here, is what I'm seeing. Okay, so let's look at BTS's thoughts on G Friend. You know, and it's funny because it's kind of the same. They they both have the same feelings towards one another. Um, because with the six of pentacles, the six of spheres here in reverse, normally this talks about being generous, being very giving. But when it this comes in reverse, I do see that BTS thinks that uh, the members of G-Friend aren't very generous, aren't very giving, aren't very kind either. They're maybe a little bit moody uh, with this Queen of Pentacles showing up here in reverse. Normally the Queen of Pentacles is very caring, very nurturing. But when it comes in reverse, the this energy, this caring and protective energy can be overly judgmental. Um, it can also be moody. And, uh, mm, yeah, I'll keep it at that. There was something else I wanted to say, but, you know, I really don't want to use this channel as like a, like, b like bad mouthing or anything, um, of other people because they're both they're all talented you know i don't want to, to i don't want these videos to take away from that but i do see that the energy between these two groups is not really close uh, <laughs> uh so yeah um but they do 
Uh, I do think that with this card showing up, BTS does think that G the members of G-Friend are very emotionally pleasing to the eye. They do give a sense of like, you know, they do make you feel good whenever you do meet them or whenever you are around them. They do make you feel good, but they are a little bit, uh, but BTS does think that a lot of the members of G-Friend are moody and maybe aren't as kind and generous and giving um, as they were hoping them to be. Uh, so, yeah. All right. So let's do some advice now because we always want to end things on a good note. So let's take some... Let's give some advice since this is like a friendship reading. Let's do an advice for BTS and G Friend. So we're gonna do overall. So we're gonna just do some advice for the overall energies of each group. Maybe something that they can benefit from and learn and, and use and apply into their lives, maybe or not, you know? All right, so let's get. Um, advice for the members of G Friend. Eight of Wands. It's funny how this card came in reverse for them earlier in regards to BTS's thoughts of them as a group. The Five of Pentacles. And the Page of Wands. Interesting. Okay. I was going to use this Oracle deck, but I don't think I'm going to use it for this video. Just because some of the imagery on here contains some nudity. And I'm still kind of new to... You know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. I changed my mind. Good old Gemini here. Oh, this one doesn't have any. Giza. Okay. Advice for BTS. The Ten of Pentacles. The Four of Wands. Ooh. The Seven of Swords. And Kalanish, North, Wisdom. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So we're going to start with the one that has the most, like, T is what I'm seeing. And we're going to and we're gonna do BTS's advice. So BTS's advice is, with this card representing Northern, which is all about Wisdom. This is a Northern card in this Oracle deck, which is all about Wisdom. There's shadow aspects. There's love. Um, there's a lot of emotions here. The thing that I'm seeing first, the big T for BTS is to not be so overly trusting with their emotions and of their thoughts in regards to um, some of the members within the group. Um, with the Seven of Swords or the Seven of Stars in this deck coming up in reverse, normally this talks about, you know, lies, malice, theft... Um, things like that. There are some, there are some members in in the group of BTS that have some great ideas, have some great thoughts to, um, in mind for what they're going to do next. Um, but the advice for them is to not be so overly trusting of their ideas to all of the members in the group because. Maybe one of them will, or some of them will be like, wow, that's a good idea. Let me take that and run. You know, let me, let me go, uh, hopefully do the same. So that's kind of the advice that I'm seeing here for some of the members in BTS, which is interesting. Um, <clears throat> but also here with the Four of Wands, the Four of Suns, and the Ten of Pentacles, the advice for BTS overall is for them to really be. Uh, 
how do I want to word this? To be proud of themselves and all of the wealth and in everything that they have accomplished. They have been very grounded. They have been very solid and working hard towards being such a big boy band. And they have accomplished so much. And they need to be proud of that. They also, they need to be strong and grounded in a sense of feeling accomplished because uh, I don't follow BTS or anything, but I, I guess they are like disbanding or taking a break or something. Um, and so they need to remember to just uh, to remember that they formed such a solid bond as a boy band and that they accomplished so much and to really relish into these feelings of accomplishment and success and absolute abundance. Um, but just keep and but for them to keep some of their ideas for their future, you know, after BTS to themselves uh, more or to not be so trusting of of some of their ideas with some of the other members or even other people, you know, like so they have great ideas um, for like spreading their wings and flying and maybe flying solo, doing some solo projects. So uh, I don't I don't know if it, if this is if this like deception or if this thief thieving energy or stealing energy is coming from within the, the band or the same members or if it's coming from outside. But the advice for them is to really just um, be more aware of, of whom to trust in regards to their thoughts, their solo thoughts, uh, uh, in regards to their plans, their projects, their individual uh, goals, rather. So I need a little bit of help with this Giza card. East Eastern cards are all about... New ways of thinking and being. Okay. Unification. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with this advice card coming up for G Friend, they need to unify. They need to come together. Like this, it's interesting how these readings come full circle. Uh, remember how in the beginning of the video, BTS thought that G Friend was not very unified. The members weren't very well grounded and w didn't have a solid goal. BTS did have a solid, firm foundation in what they wanted to accomplish as a group, but G Friend didn't. They didn't really unify much. And so the advice for them is to really unify more, for them to really learn how to work well with others, um, whether that's with working well with the same members of G Friend or just learning how to work well with other other people that are outside of G Friend, just in general in life. Um, they need to learn how to be more unified, to learn how to be more cohesive when it comes to working with others. Um, because they do have a, this kind of cold energy with the Five of Pentacles. There's a, some coldness here. Uh, they, they have some kind of like cold energy that's really harsh. Um, and they need to remember that, like, and I think part of the reason why they're cold and harsh is because maybe they've had some struggles, they've had some obstacles they've had to overcome. But this card also talks about that, like, other people share the same struggles, other people share the same sorrows. And I think they need to really come together, unify, in sharing their struggles, their sorrows, with others that way they can learn how to depend on other people and that's going to really help take them far help them move forward and and move uh and accomplish things faster with this eight of wands and with this page of wands it's going to really light a fire within the members of g friend to help them move forward make some good progress so that's what i'm seeing for them um so yeah thank you so much for uh requesting that I read the cards for BTS and G Friend. That's it for this video. Um, yeah, let me know what you thought of the video. And please also let me know of any suggestions of other celebrities cards you would like for me to read. That's it for me. 
I am going to go do some grocery shopping now, I think. Actually, no, I lied. I'm going to go back to work, um, and then I'm going to do grocery shopping. But remember to take care of yourselves mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Remember to stay hydrated. I got my tea here. And love and respect yourselves and others. I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye.